Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast here in Telford with yeah. Casey Kademi. Case, not the interview we um we wanted to be doing. This is it. Yeah, very disappointing. I mean, I want to thank you for um you know having me on. Um, but like I said, that you know we, we came in at Telford only from London with my crowd. <clears throat> we put a performance on. Um, and it's disappointing to get a result like that. Honestly, very disappointing. I mean, I've I've done uh, I've come off an injury. December 23rd, I had a private operation on my left knee, a tear ligament. They told me nine months until I get back to training. It ain't even been nine months and I'm still, I've worked very hard, eight to nine weeks. I've worked very, very hard to be moving like that. And um, we had a great camp, very confident. We came in in his hometown and again getting robbed like it's absolutely disappointing. From your perspective, obviously, it's always different in the ring. I know you'll watch it back and you'll feel like you won the fight still, but as the final bell went in your head, did you feel like it's a close fight and I've won? Or did you feel like, yes, I am the clear winner tonight? Yeah, 100%. I've never felt that confident that I've, from us, last, uh, from us three, uh, from the last three fight, I did not feel that confident that I've won as much as I won it tonight, honestly. Uh, first fight, I thought I won it by a run. You know, it was close. I didn't know where it was going to go. But still, people that been in boxing, elite people that been in boxing, they had been winning because boxing is about hitting and not getting hit. And second fight, I, it was in Birmingham. I still thought I won that by two round. Clearly, I, you know, a draw came in in his own hometown. This is again his home hometown, Tilford. We've come all the way from London, and I've, I thought I won this by you know, even that point being deducted, uh, which they shouldn't have. But I thought even that being deducted, I won it by three, four round, easy. This man won. This man won. It's, it's easy, man. Did he bring anything that you didn't expect? I mean, we know he's a come-forward fighter, but was there anything that you didn't expect or didn't see from the previous two fights? He's one-dimensional fighter. Um, like I said, the only thing that gives me trouble is style makes fight. He's just that he has a higher work rate than anyone else has fought, and that's what makes this fight interesting. There's fighters out there like Marcel, um, you know, Thomas Son, but this guy will hurt Ajans because style makes fight. This guy will really hurt Ajans. Uh, but with me, I'll beat all of them because my movement is too much for them. It's just the only reason um, um, uh, Edger's got that movement uh, that makes the fight hard for me is the, the amount of the work rate he's got compared to everyone else. His work rate is very high. Style makes fight and I think, um, you know, it's, it's crazy getting a result like that after putting a performance on and going through a camp like that. It's, 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 I don't know what to say, man. I see how much this hurt your team and Richard Sawyer as well. I know when we spoke on... Um, on the at the press conference on Thursday, you said you kind of felt like the first two fights you didn't have as much of a game plan to execute tonight. You had the game plan, and 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 it was executed. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, the last two fights. I mean, the first fight, I was I, you know I was kind of forced into main event, and I was very emotional. Mom passing away and all of that within two three months of getting into the ring again. You know, I was it, like it wasn't it wasn't a solid game plan. Um, the second fight, we worked very hard being fit and we thought you know what let's just again it was I was very angry I took a loss so I was just wanted to go and hurt him and then um, again I was a draw this was a solid game plan dance and I, I said in my last uh, interview on BT that I'll, I'll make him dance with a star and I did I made him dance with a star and he couldn't touch me you know he landed two three shot max throughout the you know four five shot max throughout the whole 12th round but it's, it's just absolutely disappointing to get to get robbed like that did it make it a bit of pill to swallow the fact that if it wasn't for the point deducted, you would have walked away with a British title tonight? And, you know, you can argue it was a very harsh point deducted, although the referee in general was, was a fairly good referee. Um, I don't understand. I mean, like I said, we've, um, you know, this is my, we, I came into this fight as my 23rd round with him. Um, you know, I know what he does, how dirty he is when it comes to um, getting close up. You know, he says he busted me up in my last fight. You don't see me getting busted up do you, today. Although he landed clean shot, but you know, because last fight he headbutted me, low blowed me, and referee did not take one point off in the last two fights. And it's absolutely bad for boxing because he gets away with all this stuff close up. So my plan was obviously as soon as we get close up, in order for me to get avoid all the cuts and all that, I had to hold him up. It's part of the game. The referee's job is to separate us. I don't know why he's, he's because he he did not take his point off when he was getting low blow, he's hitting me below with a belt. You know, it was, it was nuts. He hit me like full shot, and I was keep looking at the referee, and the referee was like, it is crazy. I don't know what, you know, it's maybe his hometown. I don't know if they refuse around from this area. I don't know. It's crazy. I just. I know, obviously, emotions high when you leave the ring, but as you walk back through here, you did say, and like I said emotions high, you went, is there any point in me boxing again? I know that isn't the case, and I know you will get in the ring again because of the man you are, but um, I can see why it's kind of that feeling of, is it even worth it when you feel like you've been done on, on the cards? I mean, like I said, um, 
uh, boxes are like a product and tonight I was meant to be a product, a global product. Um, you know, first ever Afghan British to be a British champion, you know, and this it was time to make history tonight. And I came on a performance on that was going to make that, make me a global superstar. Honestly, people are out there watching me from all over the countries. Um, you know, someone like me, he, 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 okay, the style makes fine. My style is entertaining. I'm confident. I've got good charisma. And, you know, I'm a product of this with a good, good background story that makes me a superstar. I can be a world champion if I was being, you know, if I don't get robbed by these kind of judges. And these kind of judges kind of delays my career. So I'm thinking, like, fool, now look where I'm at now. Getting two draws, a loss. And, like, is there even a point of me getting, you know, if, if this was in America, I would have won that easy. I would have won that very easy. Because America, America is about getting here and not getting, I mean, hit and not getting hit. And, I, you know, I just, it's crazy. Like, I, I don't know how the judge, they need to do a training before I think they, they should judge someone's career, honestly. Because one of the, one of the, one of the British Border Boxers that was in, in our change room, he didn't know nothing about hand wrapping. And when we asked him, is that okay? He said, I don't know. So it's crazy. I mean, like, you, you, we rely on our career, our health, into these guys' hands and, you know, being robbed and all of that. It's crazy. And they don't know nothing about the sport. It's very disappointing. British Border Boxing need to fix themselves up, honestly. I'm going to bring in Robert in a second, but one more thing uh, to you, Case. About running it back the fourth time, if you was a welterweight and there was loads of other options out there in terms of opponents, I know you want the British title, but um, if there was loads of other options and you was another <coughs> weight, then something else could happen. But because of the weight you're at and there isn't as many opportunities, it kind of just has to be run back for the fourth time. I don't know. I mean, I, I, honestly, I'm tired of him. Well, have to, like I, said, I, I bet you're both just sick of each other. Yeah. yeah. Especially, I mean, he had at least two, two fights before coming to, to, to this fight. He had two, <clears throat> two other warm-up fights that made him believe that he's going to knock me out. He was so confident of knocking out. I was like, who are you knocking out? Yeah, I'm not them journeyman that will pay to get knocked out. You know, you four guys that probably never had a win. I'm a guy that I'm going to come to win. And I'm coming out to your back, uh, uh, back garden and I'm going to fight you. And I came in. I'm not, you know, it's, it's just, uh, I don't know what else to say, to be honest. Robert, um, so I just get you in. Yeah, if it is to be run back for the fourth time, look, obviously, you know, you only just left the ring, so we don't know what's going to happen. But if it is to be run back for the fourth time um, in London, well, I don't think he'd be coming up here again. No. Um, it's a bit of swill to, bit of pill to swallow, but we're all men. You take it on your chin. But the, the thing that's uh, most upset, especially for Casey, the work they're putting, the game plan they stuck to. How the other fella has won it? I thought the, I thought being a draw was outrageous. Let alone how the other fella won it. But then we got to go again. They, 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 Pick theirself up. I've never seen him so disappointed. The other two fights, I thought he won the first fight when he lost it. But this one, he won yeah, it. He won, won it won clearly. I had him two rounds in front, and that was with the point deducted. I don't know how. I don't know. It, well, every pundit at BT had him winning. So I suppose happen. would it make the the journey sweeter if? Well, it will make it all sweet if there was a fourth fight and you were to come up victorious. Obviously, I know that's, you know, it's a long way thinking from now. But. Yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, I've got to see it with my team. i got to have a few, you know, head clear my head off him. I've had literally my last two fights been with him. This is the third fight, literally. Like, I had no other opponent but him. Um, and obviously, I, I broke my, 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 my thumb um, in the like third round it was. And we still box great. Uh, we did what we need to do to become victorious. We stick to the game plan. But it's just, I don't know, it's just disappointing. I've just got to sit down with my team and see where we're going to go. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Center. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.